Hi viewers, today I will explain how to create this model in SOLIDWORKS. Now observe this, now this were total 4 parts here, one is base part, one is side part and one is cylinder part and this one is one of supporting part. Now if you want to create this, first of all create this side part. Now observe this, this one is 60 distance and plus 18 plus 18, so total 96 distance horizontal the next 100 distance vertical so first of all create this rectangle and next one in this we have some fillet radius actually this one is 18 distance so this one also so uh, total 18 distance radius okay and next in this you have two circles this one is 18 diameter three holes so this one and this one and this one these three is 18 diameter so create this profile first of all okay first of all enter into solidworks Take a new file, part, then okay, okay, next, okay, next, create one sketch on side plane. First of all, I want to create one sketch on front plane here. Now, in this, we have I want to create one baseline. First of all, now this one is 96 distance. Use smart dimension, select object. Now, this one is 96, then next, okay, after that create another line also on this point to here next year to here the next year to bottom side okay now this height is 100 distance height now this base is 96 height is 100 okay and next one now this was some fillet radius now this one is 18 so just apply 18 distance here the next okay and here also same 18 so select two profiles the next okay after apply this fillet radius now this are two holes that's one is 18 diameter holes apply 18 diameter the next okay and next create another hole for this in this also same circle with 18 diameter the next okay now in this way this profile is fully completed the next exit after that apply use control seven for isometric piece then next apply features extrude feature and select this sketch after that apply your requirement height now this one is Observe here this one is 18 distance height and this thickness also same 18 so apply 18 thickness then next okay now this way this sketch is completed side face after that create another sketch on top plane now okay now this plane exactly base okay next use control 8 for normal screen after that create work now first of all i want to project this line because of i want to this line so by using this convert entities select here for projection the next okay after that create one line from this center point to here now this one is 80 distance and next another one 60 distance First of all, create this own two axis lines because of this reference. After that, apply these distances. Next, here I want to create actually, I want to create this base profile. Now, this one is from the center point to here 80 distance, and next, this radius is 35 radius. Okay, first of all, specify spot dimensions. This one is 80 distance. Now here, this one is 60 distance. Okay. Now in this we have one circle. Now this circle radius is actually 35 radius. 35 radius means now this diameter is 70. 70 means 35 radius okay 
after that create another two circles here for this hole and next this outer this one is 18 radius and middle one is 18 diameter create two circles here now here this one is 18 just apply here also 18 radius next create another circle again same position but this one is 18 diameter outer one is 18 radius this one is 18 diameter okay check it once 18 diameter means 36 okay after that create one line from this quadrant to up to here okay actually this one is up to next position create up to next position next i want to project this profiles also this one and this one now this is a total line next create another line for this from this position to up to here next trim remaining lines by using this trim identities option use power trim option like dragging okay after that in this we have another line but this one is tangent to tangency so use this line tool now i want to take one line from this position exactly tangency to tangency now this one is tangency to tangency but when you create line you want to display only tangencies use this snaps tangency and this one to display only tangency okay this one is okay after that i want to another tangency now here to here this one is tangency to tangency then next okay after that trim remaining inside portions now by the trim option use power trim and drag like this or trim these profiles okay after that exit now you show exactly this one is fully close the profile and trim this line also the next exit and use control 8 for control 7 for isometric view then after that apply go to features apply extrude base tool select tool next select this sketch base sketch after that apply thickness now this one also same 18 thickness okay finish but in this you have one cylinder part this one is 50 diameter and 28 diameter exactly in this center so create that one now go to sketch again top plane and use control 8 for normal view next create this circle but exactly in this center point now see here in this view one center point is highlight by using version create two circles here now that's one is one is 50 diameter and one is 28 diameter okay after that this height is 40 distance from this base so apply height now after exit use control 8 for isometric sorry control 7 for isometric view then next apply extrude tool select the sketch now this one is 18 distance present just apply 40 and next ok after that if I want to create this supporting part actually this one is 10 thickness now go to this rip tool in features select rib option but if I want to use this rip tool first of all create one reference line here so go to sketch select sketch tool now I want to create one sketch from this quadrant to exactly this midpoint position so this right side view is better for that okay now this one exactly in middle okay select that tool and next use control 8 
let's create one line from this quadrant to up to here actually this is not a line observe this this one is 80 radius arc so create one arc now this we have is third one three point arc this one is better for that so here first of all specify end point start point and end point of the specify radius now in this specify radius by using this smart dimension tool now this one is 80 okay this position exactly coincides with this quadrant and this position exactly coincides with this mid part and next exit after that apply this rib option in features rib tool select this profile and next apply thickness like this both sides now this one is by default one here i want to 10 10 is like this next apply i want to in inside so basically this arrow like inside like this i want to like this exactly inside if i want to top side use this flip direction Flip material side option okay now this one is better for that the next okay now in this way one support is created like this now after that in this way some fillet radius so just apply see here this one is 13 radius just apply some fillet here now go to fillet option Next, select these edges, this one and this one. Now, specify fillet radius exactly 13. 13 radius, then next OK. Now, in this, we have one smooth fillet radius also completed. Now, this is that spot now. 